Hi, welcome to The Hunting Guide for Assassin's Creed 3. First of all, on the map, if you push up on the stick, you will access the hunting menu. And there you will show you the animals that are available, and if you haven't discovered them yet, they'll just be a paw. And you can also segment if you push right and show the types of particular animals that are available in a zone. In this zone, it doesn't make a lot of sense, so we'll just go through these guys, because there's only one zone. But um, further, we have foxes, wolves, hares, deer, uh, beavers, raccoons, and elks, and they're kind of spread all around. So as long as you vo avoid the centralized areas, you're going to be fine. But let's have a look at Frontier. Frontier is where the majority of them are, and there's a bunch of sections. But we'll start up uh, in Black Creek, where you've got hares, beavers, uh, elks, and bobcats. Next, we are going to Kenyan Care, and there you've got hares, foxes, deer, and a cougar. And uh, I've got a separate video that I'll link in the description that shows where the cougar is. Next to St. Johnstown, hares, bears, foxes, and elks, and the bears you'll see are generally there around the rocky, watery area, and that's true of bears everywhere. Great Peace Hills, hares, elks, wolves, and bobcats, and they're kind of spread around all over the place. Next, Diamond Basin, you've got beavers, deer, uh, wolves, and a cougar. Valley Forge has hares, beavers, a raccoon, and elks. Huh, <laughs> more than just a raccoon, some raccoons. <laughs> Um, and then it's off to Concord, where you've got hares, raccoons, beavers, and deer. And if you avoid the central areas, the residential areas, they're on the outskirts. Same as Lexington, where you've got hares, raccoons, foxes, and deer. And again, they're sort of around the edges. Then we've got Scotch Plains. You've got a cougar, which is quite near the exit to New York. I'll show you that in a minute. And deers, and it's not there. Uh, deers, raccoons, and hares. If you have a look here, uh, the New York entrance, the cougar is around there. Uh, Troy's Wood, you've got hares, deer, elk, and wolves. And the wolves and the deer tend to stick together. In Monmouth, you've got uh, elks, raccoons, hares, and foxes. And finally, in Pakenak, hares, beavers, bobcats, and bears. And again, the bears will be in the sort of... Um, area around water and rocks. First of all, we're going to have a look at how to catch beavers. Beavers tend to be by the water's edge, and if you see these little tree stumps, uh, you can analyse the clues. And you can get the animals revealed either by killing them or by finding clues, so I tend to run around in eagle vision. Uh, looking for clues that you can analyse, again, there'll be you know poop and stuff everywhere as well. And uh, we are going to hunt some raccoons. Uh, there's a great way to get small animals like hares, foxes, and raccoons, and foxes will generally come out at night as well. But what you can do is lay bait, and you'll see there's a little raccoon there. You can shoot it easily with your arrow, but I just want to show you how bait works. So what I'm going to do is uh, toss some bait down here, select it from your menu. You can buy it from shops or craft it at the homestead. That's money. Come on, chop, chop. There's bait right next to snares. And you'll probably, if you're hunting, you always want to make sure you've got plenty of bait. It makes life so much easier, and you'll see you can bait any animal. Uh, so I climbed a tree because they weren't coming to that rock. Um, and it's raining and a bit foggy, which doesn't help anyone. But over there, you'll see a little hare and some raccoons. And there's some lightning I slowed down. There's a huge heap of little animals there. And bait's great for getting them. So I've just pulled out my arrow and I'm shooting a raccoon there. There we go. Little dead raccoon. Poor fella. But head to the water's edge where they drink or stick to foresty areas. Hares, raccoons, foxes tend to appear everywhere. We're going to have a look at uh, bobcats now and quick time events. Now, if you if an animal jumps on your back, uh, you can generally uh, stab it almost immediately. Here is a bobcat. I missed the quick time event, but I drop it down and then just mash the attack button, and you'll still get a kill. Um, the elks you can dispose of pretty easily too, and don't forget to analyse the clues. It's always worth analysing every clue, um, because they'll appear on your mini-map. But you'll see here, I get an elk quick time event, and it knocks me down. I get the first stab, normally you have to do a second one, but again, if you mash the button, you can get that second hit and just kill it without having to wait. Uh, you can also bait from trees and do air assassinations. So if you're up in the air and an animal comes under you, uh, you can totally kill it just by uh, dropping some bait and waiting for it to come to you. And it doesn't just work with small animals. Um, here I'm going to throw some bait down, and then if we wait a little while, you'll see a bear comes trundling over, and you can just drop kill him. <laughs> Have you heard of drop bears? I'm dropping on a bear. Nah, die bear, die. 
But this is the St. John's Wood area, and there are plenty of bears around these rocky areas, like seven or eight of them, I think. Uh, foxes in Lexington are down here in the southeast. This was something I really had trouble with and ended up having to look for clues in the end. Uh, so if you're having trouble with foxes there, another way to do it is to hide in, uh, there we go, bait, hide in the bushes. You know, if you run into the bushes, you'll crouch and then just drop some bait and the animals will come to you and you can just stab them with your knife. There's a little fox incoming here and another one turns up on the left. And this is still in the southeast of Lexington. Hello, foxes. Are you enjoying your bait? Die! <laughs> Poor fox. But when you make a kill, the other ones will run away, so sometimes it's worth laying snares. Now, here is a cougar, and this is in Scotch Plains. If you come in by the New York entrance, you'll find lots of cougar clues. But if you run around the corner from the New York entrance, uh, you will see it tends to just be up here waiting on a little rock. There. Hello, cougar. And again, if you fail a quick time event, you can totally just stab them in the neck. And that's around there. Next, raccoons. Uh, this is raccoons in Scotch Plain. I've spent ages trying to find one here, and I didn't have any arrows. I only had rope darts. Um, so I was hiding, and I then didn't have any bait either. And I was hoping one would come close, and then I looked around and a clue appeared out of nowhere. So it's always worth, if you see animals but you don't catch them, then activate eagle vision, because sometimes a clue just appears as if by magic. This is where the bears are in St. Johnstown. They are up in this area, and there are loads of them. I think I show three or four kills here. Uh, they hurt you pretty bad if you screw up the quick time events, though. Uh, you'll see here, you, lose, you can lose a chunk of health if you miss it. And they take three or four attacks, um, so be careful. And then some more bears. So we just killed this one, and I'm just running this way, and I'm actually trying to chase down a feather at the moment, and this is where I stumble across all the bears. Uh, but it tends to be B first for all the quick time events, so as long as you're ready with B, which is the right hand button. Sorry on PlayStation guys, I don't know the button, but it's uh, whatever the counter button is, which kind of makes sense. As long as you're ready with that, the next button's pretty straightforward. And then, I mean, I got bored looking at bears, but I'm running towards the feather and there's another one just up here. So if you're running, if you need bear fur, which is also great for trading, or bear grease, which you need for some key ingredients, um, that's where to get them. Anyway, cougars, uh, cougars, bobcats are around here. This is a great place to catch bobcats. I had a uh, problem finding them. And again, I was looking for feathers. It's definitely worth combining the feather hunts with the uh, hunting quest because you're going to be running all over the forest anyway and you're just going to stumble across all sorts of creatures. And this is another example of failing the quick time event and still stabbing the bobcats. Anyway, if you need uh, any specific animals to locate, let me know in the comments and I will link it in the description. Lots of love. Bye!